Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob, okay? Now, today, my children, like I promised, we're going to see a new letter. Well, it's not a new letter, but it's a new form of the letter E. Now, remember, the vowels are five, and they are A, T, I, O, and U. And we started with the first two. Remember, the letter A, capital A, small a. The letter E, capital E. And we have two objects for capital E. We had the elephant, which is the animal with the big trunk, and we had the egg. Remember the dinosaur egg? When it cracks, it delivers a dinosaur baby, a baby dinosaur. So, today we're going to continue with the same letter, letter E, but in small form. Remember, all of the letters have two forms, capital, mayúsculas, small, minúsculas. Today we're going to continue with letter E in small form. And teacher, how, uh, how do we know letter E in small form? How is it, how, how is the form or the shape of a small E? The shape and form is like this, like a snail, okay? Now, snails in Spanish, they are called caracol, and this looks similar to a snail, okay? We start from this part, and we're going to make a, like a circle, like an unfinished circle, como un círculo sin terminar, just like a snail, okay? Now, this is small e. Please repeat after me. Remember, with all of the all of your energy, I'm very very loud. Small e. Very good, excellent pronunciation. Now, what shapes or objects do we have for small e? Now, the object that is very common for this letter are the ears. This is a human ear. Now, teacher, what is an ear? The ear, it's a part of our face. It's not the mouth, it's not the eyes, it's this part right here. These in English are called ears with Miss Andy, or in Spanish they are called orejas. With the teacher, these are ears. Please repeat after me with all of your energy. Ears. And the word ears begin with the small e. Okay? We have human ears and we also have, for example, the elephant ears, like Dumbo. Do you know who is Dumbo? Dumbo is a very famous elephant. And Dumbo ears are very, very big. So that's why I wrote them right here next to the small e. So, remember, small e are for ears. Now, how many ears do we have? The human body, for example, me, the teacher, I have two ears, one and two, okay? All of us have two ears. Now, here in the whiteboard, we also, I also wrote several letter e's in a small form. We are going to count Vamos a contar how many are they to write the number here on the whiteboard. Para que al final, después de contar, escriba el número en el pizarrón, okay? For this, you have to help the teacher count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. They are 10 small letter E's. Okay? So, when I write it, remember the number 10 is the one that has two digits. Number 1 and number 0. And they have to be together to make one number. Again, number 1 and number 0. And they have to be together to create only one number. Number 10. Very good, my children. So, today's activity is part of your teddy book and it's located right here in this page. As you can see, we have a small e 
in small form. On there, we have the object in which, in which this case is the ear, and under the ear, we have the small e that you have to trace with your pencil, okay? So once you have finished tracing all small e's, you can paint your ear with color pink or color peach. The color peach in Spanish is color carne, okay? Very good. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. Remember the teacher Jacob loves you very much. I send you kisses and hugs. Take care. Goodbye.